Paper of the Week! <laughs> uh, g'day, welcome to Paper of the Week. Found a cool paper this week. What does it say? This word I can't say properly. It's my Yobbo accent. Kynurinen. <laughs> I sound like a drunk 12 year old every time I try to say kynurinen. So kynurinen pathway in autism spectrum disorders in children. Um, it was published in the Neuropsychobiology um, Journal in November 17, 2017. Um, oh, bloody receive then. Published March this year, um, 2018. So it's a really cool paper because we've been talking a lot about um, the tryptophan steel. Now, tryptophan is a precursor to make serotonin. Serotonin is associated with the brain chemistry, feeling good chemicals, and implicated as a contributing factor with autism spectrum disorder and that sort of stuff. Now, I've been getting a lot of children and parents lately sending me through organic acid testing, showing that the conurinin pathway is a problem in their children. And the way they're doing it, they're doing these organic acid testing and showing that the neurotransmitters and that sort of stuff are fine. But we're finding big levels of quinolinic acids and other issues associated with their inability to metabolize the amino acid tryptophan properly. Now, that can create autism. Now, what, what happens, okay, imagine this. Tryptophan is supposed to convert to serotonin to give contentment and everything like that. If your body's stressed, if it's inflamed, if it's malnutritioned, if you've got gut disorders, if you have candida overgrowth, and if you've got a lot of these gut issues, you know when people saying that gut creates autistic spectrum disorders and all these behavioral and brain disorders are all gut related? Well, this is the, one of the mechanisms why. But it's really important to understand how it's happening, why it's happening, and to test appropriately. A lot of people go straight in and try to address the brain chemistry, but when you do these organic acid tests, you do this stool analysis, the organic acid test will actually measure your neurotransmitter balance. And we can see if you do have brain chemistry problems or not. And in the same sample, it will show if you've got issues with the kynurinin pathway um, by measuring other me metabolic wastes. A stool analysis that I commonly do <clears throat> with children with behavioral disorders, we commonly find such things as candida, other over overgrowth of clostridiums and other bad bugs and basic dysregulation within the gut microbiome. That is the cause of the kynurinin pathway defect. So the reason why I'm telling you this, it's very important. It might change some of your treatment, but if you actually test someone and treat their, their particular imbalances, you'll often find you don't need to manage neurotransmitters in the brain. You don't need to go through and screw with things too much. We actually need to find the problem within the person. And this kind of neuron and pathway is becoming a big problem. So you're looking for quinolinic acid on testings. We often got issues with vitamin B3, um, which is why the tryptophan is driven down that pathway, such as fatigue, behavior. You'll see the big link. Get this paper. It's a really important paper, really interesting paper when it comes to treatment. It explains not only how gut is important, but how the gut can actually create autism spectrum disorder. Okay, thanks. Get into it. Paper of the week.